Hey, this is Mrs. Gooding. Welcome to iFlip for Math, MathCast Lesson 3-6, Multiplying Greater Numbers. That just means we're going to be multiplying really big numbers, mostly two digit by three digit tonight, but you can extend that. Our learning goal is to multiply three digit numbers by two digit numbers and to check using the digital root checking strategy. And our quote is by Babe Ruth, you just can't beat the person who won't give up. So no matter how challenging this is for you, don't give up. Here are our individual lesson learning goals. We still have memorize your multiplication facts as one of our learning goals because we need to continue to work on that. Our multiplication will get easier and easier as we get faster at our facts. Multiply three digit numbers by two digit numbers, regroup when needed, add partial products to get a final product, and check using the digital root checking strategy. Let's, we, let's first work an example. We did not have any vocabulary tonight that was new for us. So um, follow along as I work this problem. Find the product 655 times 98. So I wrote the larger number on top. And again, I'm going to start multiplying by the number in the ones place. So I multiply straight up first. 8 times 5 is 40 put my 0 down, carry my 4, 8 times 5 is 40, plus 4 is 44, put my 4 down and carry my 4, and now I'm just going to keep going. I'm going to move to the number in the thousands or the hundreds place now. 8 times 6 is 48, plus 4 is 52. Now I'm done, so X, O right below it, and kisses to go. We have two regrouping numbers to mark out. Now I'm going to start multiplying by this number. And again, I always move first to that number in the ones place. So 9 times 5 is 45. Carry the 4. 9 times 5 is 45. Plus 4 is 49. Carry the 4. We have lots of 4s we're regrouping with tonight. 9 times 6 is 54, plus 4 is 58. And now we'll add up our partial products. 0 plus 0 is 0. 5 plus 4 is 9. 9 plus 2 is 11. Carry my 1. 5 plus 1 is 6, plus 8 is 14. And 5 plus 1 is 6. So this is our final answer, but this is a huge number, so we're totally going to check it using digital root. We're going to check the digital root for this number, this number, and this number. So I'm going to look for some ways to make this easier. 5 plus 5 is 10, and 10 and 6 is 16. I changed the order. I used the um, commutative property of addition. So. 1 plus 6 is 7. You didn't know there was a commutative property of addition as well, did you? 9 plus 8 is 17. And 1 plus 7 equals 8. And because I multiply over here, I'm going to multiply here. 8 times 7 is 56. You can't have two digits, so 5 plus 6 is 11. Crazy, we still have two digits. So 1 plus 1 is 2. 2 is our magic number. Now we'll come down and add up the numbers in our final product. 9 plus 1 is 10. And 10 plus 10, because 6 and 4 are 10, is 20. Can't have a two-digit number, so 2 plus 0 is 2. 2 is our magic number. And I'm connecting my power bar to show that my numbers match. So I most likely got my multiplication correct. So how many of you realize that that wasn't the commutative property? I didn't move any numbers around. I just grouped differently. That was the associative property of addition. And I owe you one big push up so far at this lesson. I'm sure you will catch more. We're going to do some practice problems. Number one, find the product for 529 times 47. Don't forget to check, pause, and push play when you're ready. Number two, 
Did you write 24,863? Was your magic number five? Let's see how you did that. We're ready to multiply. If I seem to be going too quickly, remember you can still pause me while I'm going through the example just to slow down to write your numbers down. Take your time, make sure you're learning. It's more important than you learn it than that you move through it quickly. So we'll start with the number in the ones place. My, there's my mouse. Seven times nine is 63, carry my six. Seven times two is 14, plus six is 20. You can touch point these if this was a bit of, if that was a big number for you. Seven times two is 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Now we're multiplying seven times five is 35, plus two is 37. We're done, so X, O, kisses to go. Now we'll multiply by the four. Four times nine is 36. Four times two is eight, plus three is 11. Four times five is 20, plus one is 21. And we'll add up our partial products. Three plus zero is three. 0 plus 6 is 6, 7 plus 1 is 8, 3 plus 1 is 4, 0 plus 2 is 2. Let's check it. 9 plus 2 is 11 plus 5. Hmm, that's not as easy for me. Let's go the other way. 5 plus 2 is 7 plus 9 is 16. Yep, I'm using different properties to make it easier for me. 1 plus 6 is 7, and 4 plus 7 is 11. Can't have a two-digit number, so 1 plus 1 is 2. Now we're multiplying here because we multiplied here. 2 times 7 is 14. 1 plus 4 is 5. 5 is our magic number. Now we'll add up our answer. I wonder if we could group any of these to make it easier to add. Six and four is 10, and two and eight is 10. So 10 plus 10 is 20, plus three is 23. It's just another strategy to make your addition easier. Two plus three is five. Five is our magic number. And connect your power bar to show that you got it correct. Number two, find the product for 40 times 719. Don't forget to check, pause it, and push play when you're ready. Did you write 28,760? Was your magic number five again? Let's see how we did that one. Did you see how carefully I lined my numbers up? It just makes it less likely that I'll make a mistake that way. We're gonna start multiplying by this number. Zero times nine is zero. Zero times one is zero. Zero times seven is zero. Hmm, I might could have just written a zero here and then started multiplying. But we'll work out all the steps tonight just to make sure you understand where we're getting our numbers. X, O, and we don't have any kisses to go. So four times nine is 36 carry my three. Four times one is four, plus three is seven. Four times seven is 28. <laughs> our second partial product is considerably larger than our first one. Now I can see that I'm not going to be adding anything to those numbers. So zero plus zero is zero, zero plus six is six, zero plus seven is seven, zero plus eight is eight, and zero plus two is two. That's why we could have just written this zero here and then started multiplying. This is our final answer, and we'll begin to check. By now, you should be getting the hang of digital root checking. I'll use the commutative property this time. Nine plus seven is 16 plus one is 17. One plus seven is eight. 4 plus 0 is 4. 
4 times 8 is 32. But we can't have a two-digit number, so 3 plus 2 is 5. 5 is our magic number. Now we'll check our answer. This time I'll use touch point to work them all out. 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23. Remember, with touch point, I don't actually have to draw the dots, but you do have a chart showing you where they are if you forget. 2 plus 3 is 5, and 5 is our magic number. And there's our power bar to prove it. Here is our practice with word problems. I bet it has something to do with popcorn. It does! Mr. Coder's fifth grade class at Eagle Glen Intermediate School sold more bags of popcorn than any other class. They ordered 17 cases of popcorn. Each case had 242 bags. How many bags of popcorn did the class sell? Pause it while you work this out. You may need to underline keywords, in this case probably write them down because you're writing them in your journal, and make sure that when you put your answer you put a label with it. Then push play again. Did you write 4,114 bags of popcorn? Was your magic number one? Let's see how we got that answer. Okay, we'll start multiplying by the number in the ones place. Seven times two is 14. Put your four down and carry your one. Seven times four is 28 plus one is 29. Carry your two. 7 times 2 is 14, plus 2 is 16. X, O, and kisses to go. We'll put our comma there. Now we're multiplying by the 1. This should be easy. 1 times 2 is 2. 1 times 4 is 4. 1 times 2 is 2. Add up our partial products. 4 plus 0 is 4. 9 plus 2 is 11, carry my 1. 6 plus 1 is 7, plus 4 is 11. 1 plus 1 is 2, plus 2 is 4. Let's check it just to prove it. 2 plus 4 is 6, plus 2 is 8. It's already a single digit. 1 plus 7 is 8, another single digit. 8 times 8 is 64. Whoops, we can't have two digits. 6 plus 4 is 10. Two digits again. 1 plus 0 is 1. So 1 is our magic number. Now we'll add up our final product. 4 plus 1 is 5, plus 1 is 6, plus 4 is 10. 1 plus 0 is 1. One is our magic number, and draw our power bar to prove it. It's time to challenge yourself. Cody, this one is for you. Cody owns a plant nursery. He sells plants in flats. There are six plants in each tray. Each flat has six trays. Cody sold 242 flats on Saturday and 318 flats on Sunday. How many plants did Cody sell in all? Explain your answer in your journal and show all your work. Come back tomorrow and check your answer. Yowza, this is a tough one, but I'm excited for you to stretch your brain out and try it. Finishing up, go ahead and review your goals. What part of this lesson is still hard for you? If you can identify exactly which part of the lesson is giving you trouble and write that question down, then helping you tomorrow will be a piece of cake. Go ahead and write down if you're a one, a two, or a three level in your learning. And then woohoo, go have some fun. You've completed lesson 3-6, multiplying greater numbers. I'll see you tomorrow in class.